guys, Katie Heller here with KidsCanReadAndWrite.com. And today I want to talk to you about how to help your kids remember the short vowel sounds. Because a lot of times when I test kids, uh, if they have trouble with letters and sounds, if they know most of them, but have weaknesses in some, a lot of times it's with these. They just get them mixed up or the sounds are slightly off. And these are the most important letters really in the alphabet because they're in all the words and all the syllables. So your kids really need to know these vowel sounds and they need to say them correctly, as do you, so that when you are calling out words for your kids, they can hear the right sounds. And when they are um, sounding out words, they can make the right sounds. So we want to have these sounds nailed down and we want to make sure they're getting the right ones. So let's go over the vowels. Now notice I have A, E, I, O, and U here. Yes, Y is also a vowel at times. If there aren't any of these in the word, why is your vowel? Or if there aren't any of these in the syllable, why is going to be there? So we're not really going to worry about why um, because that's not one of our main vowels, but just know, yes, it's sometimes a vowel and it's a good one to know too, but it changes sounds when it's a vowel. So I count that as a trick. And today we're just going over the short vowel sounds. So let's go. So we have five main vowels, A, E, I, O, and U. And you want your child to immediately recognize the vowel. In other words, you want your child to know, oh, I see a vowel in that word. So if the word is, let's say, um, I don't know, top. When your child is learning to read, you want them to be able to identify that vowel. Oh, the O is in there. Because here's the thing, the vowels are the glue and your child's going to need to use that vowel and stretch it into that next letter. So let's make sure your child can first of all say A, E, I, O, and U. You want them to know those are the vowels. And I like to tell them to say A, E, I, O, U, like I owe you some money. So remember the first step is just having your kids know what are the vowels? Can you name them? A, E, I, O, U, like I owe you some money. A, E, A, E, I, O, U. So that's just a fun little way to remember them. A, E, I, O, U. And then remember, A could look like this, or it could look like this. So make sure you're helping your child recognize both kinds of A's when you're going over the vowels. Um, the other thing is we need the right sounds. So once your child can say A, E, I, O, U, and recognize that those are the vowels, now we need to hook the sounds on. So A, I like to say, this is the one they'll see the most often. And see how it looks like an apple with a stem coming out, maybe like a little leaf up here, right? And here's a stem, the leaf, and you can put another leaf, right? An apple with a stem and a leaf. So that is our A, A, A for apple, right? And we don't want to make the letter look too different. So when you're studying it, don't draw all this stuff on it because we want your child to see this shape, right? We want your child to see, oh, Here's the apple where the stem's, you know, shorter. So these are A and they say what? A ah, for apple. Get it? A ah, for apple. Now you don't want to say uh. You don't want to say other sounds. You want a good A ah, ah, for apple. All right. And then this one, see this right here? I always tell the kids, this is Granny's ear. And this is her hand around her ear. In other words, she's going like this. Eh, eh. Now, E should sound like eh, eh, as in elephant. If your child's having a lot of trouble saying the eh, maybe they're doing this, but they're going eh instead or something else, um, tell them, oh, maybe you think of this like an elephant's trunk. 
right? Or another thing I've used with kids who are having a lot of trouble with that E sound is look, it's like an egg that got cracked open. Use whichever one works for you and your child the best. Um, any of them are helpful, but the important thing is when your child sees this eh, I like doing granny, eh, eh, but some kids have trouble with that sound. They do better with the elephant's trunk or the egg getting cracked open. So use any of those you want, but that should say eh. You want to kind of relax your throat? Eh, 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 eh. Right, you're pushing it from your deep part of your throat. Eh. Now this one I always say, here's the ice cream cone and here's the ice cream. And the ice cream is falling off of the cone. So it's gonna splat on the ground and get so icky. So the eye says what? Crunch your nose up a little. Eh. Okay, eh. So if we go back, do you remember this one? That's the apple. It's gonna say ah. Here's the either granny saying eh, or the elephant's trunk, or the egg getting cracked open, whichever one you prefer. Here's the ice cream falling off. What do we say when it splats on the ground? Eh, right? You have to be careful not to say ick or icky because then the kids tend to say ick for it or icky. So just say, eh, gross, right? Cr crinkle up your nose, eh, the ice cream's falling off. And when you see it, you go, oh, look, the ice cream's falling off, eh. All right, now for the O. Notice how it looks like a mouth wide open. So I say, open your mouth for the doctor or the dentist. What do you say? Ah, uh, right? Open that mouth so it looks just like this. Ah, uh, open your throat too. So O says ah. And then finally, we have this big opening here, like it, somebody just punched that poor you in the stomach. Ah, uh, why'd you punch me? And I'll say, look, he was smiling until somebody punched him in the stomach. Ah, uh, why'd you punch me in the stomach? All right, so there you have it, our five vowels. Let's see, do you remember this one? That's the ah. Ah, apple. How about this one? There's Granny's ear with her hand around her ear. Eh, eh. Or if that's not working, try the elephant's trunk or the egg getting cracked open. The ice cream's falling off here for the eye. So what do you say? Crinkle the nose. Eh. The O, open the mouth wide. Ah. Oh. And then what about for poor you? Ugh, why'd you punch me in the stomach? I find when I tell the kids these stories with the letters, they remember them so much faster and more easily. And if your child has any kind of processing or memory issues, this can be a lifesaver because the hardest thing is to retrieve the sound quickly. And so the more stories you can tell with the letters, the faster those memories come up because a lot of kids with memory and processing issues, otherwise known as dyslexics, um, they're much, much faster at remembering things when there's some kind of emotional story connected. So if you can put an emotion to it and a story to it, it just brings that memory up so much faster. It's no longer just rote memory. Now it has a fun, meaningful um, twist to it. So try that, see if that doesn't help. And then when your child's reading words, make sure they see, oh look, there's the mouth wide open. And they, that's, the, that's the letter they want to drag into the next sound. That's our glue. Remember, the vowels are our glue. And we have to know them and we have to stretch them and stick them on to that next sound. So when you read this, you want to go t-op, t-op. Now, beginning readers, and especially those with memory and processing issues, might need to sound that out several times until they get used to blending quickly and hearing it. It's a listening they have to develop. And if you haven't listened to my 
um, videos on that, go find them because I go over how to teach your child how to blend. And that is the next step, right? After you know your letters and sounds or at least know enough of them, it's time to start putting them together into words. So, to op. And they might say op at first and then go, very good, you got the op part. Now grab this part. T op. T op. Top. And kind of show them how to stick it together. If they're really having trouble, you can put these two together. T op. Ta. And then drag it into that one. Top. Like that. But I really like getting the blending technique to op, top. Now, if I change this, right, put a different vowel there, I could make it this. Now we have the ice cream falling off, right? So we're going to say to ip, to ip, tip, right? So that's the beauty of knowing the vowels. You can make lots of words, even if your child only knows, you know, T and P in the vowels, you can start reading with your child. T app, because we have the apple one now. T app, tap. And then maybe move your P here, right? And put your A, and then your T. And what do we have now? P app. like you pat somebody on the head. Oh, you can't even see that. Let me scoot that up. Sorry about that. Puh. Ah. T. Like that. Puh. Ah. Pat. So we can move, you know, things around. We can put an O in here. Notice all I've done is switched around two main consonants and I'm Fitting in vowels. Now I have p, ot, pot, and I could turn that into t, op, right? I can make all sorts of fun little words. So do that with your child. Practice the vowels while reading words. Make it meaningful, make it fun. Hey guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Also, if you need help getting your child reading and writing, I have a program called Black Belt Reading that you can find at www.kidscanonlineacademy.com or kidscanreadandwrite.com. And in the, um, in the program, I do videos like this teaching to your kids instead of you, but I'm going to lead you along the path and just show you how to teach your kids how to read and write. All you do, put on the videos, have them watch it, and then there are packets you download. And when you download the package, you are going to help your child work through those packets. But it's literally going to show you exactly what you need to do. And if you do it at your own pace, in your own time, you know, whatever, um, you're going to watch your child learn to read. You have to master the skills in the order they're presented. Don't skip around or whatever, but I'm going to lay it all out for you. And I'm going to give you videos for everything you need to do. So I will teach your child, you know, all the tricks, how to blend, how I'll call out words for them to spell. And then you will need to also do that as you work through the packet, but you'll have a guide me like having your own personal tutor at home to show you what to do and how to do it. So if you're interested, go to kidscanonlineacademy.com or kidscanreadandwrite.com and look for the Black Belt Reading Program. And it will take you from letters and sounds to reading just about anything that can be put in front of you. So if you need that, go there. But I hope this helped you today. Let me know if you have questions. Um, try this with your child, see how it goes. And let me know. Talk to you soon. Good luck.